The Omaha 2 Report. I'm Michael Richardson. The Omaha 2 are Black Panther leaders Ed Poindexter and Mondo Wilanga, formerly David Rice, both serving life sentences in the Nebraska State Penitentiary for the murder of an Omaha policeman, Larry Menard. Menard was killed with a bomb in a vacant house lured by an anonymous 9-11 caller. J. Edgar Hoover entered the case the day of the killing and offered to help analyze the 9-11 tape, but withholding a report on the identification of the real killer. Ivan Conrad, director of the FBI crime lab, got the memo requesting no report on the 9-11 tape and called Hoover to verify that he really wanted to let a killer of a policeman get away with murder. One day before Larry Menard was buried, J. Edgar Hoover reaffirmed his order to Ivan Conrad, the director of the FBI crime lab, and said it was okay to not issue a report. Hoover's plan to frame Mondo Ilanga and Ed Poindexter for the murder of Larry Menard held. Despite congressional testimony on the case, Omaha Police Captain Murdoch Plattner traveled twice to Washington in October of 1970, testified before a House Committee on Internal Security and a Senate Judiciary Committee on activities involving the Black Panthers in Omaha and assaults on policemen. But Captain Murdoch Plattner's testimony conflicted with that at the trial and the official version of the case. A cooperative Omaha news media kept accounts of Captain Plattner's testimony from the Omaha public. Jay Hoover got his wish. Larry Menard's killer was never heard by the jury that convicted the two Black Panther leaders and a 29-year-old policeman buried on his 30th birthday, leaving five young children, was betrayed by the director of the FBI to put Ed Poindexter and Mondo Ilanga, then David Rice, in prison, where they remain 40 years later, while Larry Menard's killer, the 9-11 caller, remains at large.